Hello! Today we're here to talk about how just one key in Excel can actually make you more productive. This is the F5 key, which allows you to move much more quickly through your workbook, or to quickly and efficiently select very specific types of data in your spreadsheet. We do this using the go to command, which can be accessed in a number of different ways, including through the menu or through another keyboard shortcut, which I can show you later. But best of all, you can access this important command with a single keystroke by just hitting F5 at any time. One of the benefits of this command is how quickly it allows you to navigate to any location on your spreadsheet. So if I want to move to cell E4, all I have to do is type E4 into the reference box here and hit OK, and we'll be taken directly to our cell. This has the added benefit of flagging errors if you enter an invalid cell, whereas with other methods you might accidentally end up changing something you didn't mean to change if you enter an invalid command. The real value of the F5 key though is discovered when you click on the special button in the left hand corner here. This is where you can define and select specific types of data using the buttons in this window here. So for example, imagine that I have found some data on a website that I want to copy and paste into an Excel spreadsheet. Sometimes when you do this, you end up getting some extra data or images that you don't need for your project. Using the F5 key and the Go To special menu, I can select Objects, which will select all the objects in my spreadsheet. I can just hit Delete and they will vanish, leaving me with just the data that I need. Another great use of this is to find empty cells if a spreadsheet should not have any missing entries. You can use the same menu, search for Blanks, and you'll be able to see everywhere that you have missing data in a spreadsheet. I should mention that the go to special command pairs very well with another keyboard shortcut using control enter. This allows me to replace all selected cells with a single value. So if I realize that all blank cells were left blank because they needed a number from a single source entered into all of them, I can select all the blank cells using go to special, then type my value, hit control enter, and it will populate to all the cells at the same time. Now in closing, if you're interested in accessing the menu another way, you can always go through the menu using the Find and Select button and selecting Go To or Go To Special. Or you can pull up the same box using Control G. Hopefully you found this helpful. I think it can be a really great time-saving tool in the right circumstances. If you have any questions, just let us know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.